the south pole is uh, you know there are a lot of uh, boulders are there suppose if you are not able to land it then on 27 man can land if everything fails even if two thrusters were propulsion works we can land it so that sort of confidence there a lot of changes have been done the impact wise it can handle the impacts it can handle the rough landing uh, rough little bit of rough landing also there is a capability that whole lander can hover you know like a helicopter hovers it so i suppose it uh, if they finds out that pro uh, proper place is not there it can hover because south pole is uh, you know there are a lot of uh, boulders are there there are uh, craters are there it's very rough so we can find out then the area landing area has been increased from 2.5 kilometers to 4 kilometers that's another thing and the our whole moon has been mapped using orbiter two pair cameras which has got a resolution of 225 cm so those photographs have been upgraded and what sort of photograph is taken they will be compared and found out which is a suitable site and then it can hover not only this suppose if you are not able to land it then on 27 man can land chairman isro has given a statement that if everything fails even if two thrusters were propulsion works we can land it so that sort of confidence there a lot of changes have been done a lot of simulations have been done both software wise as hardware wise things have been simulated on ground at the surface of the moon soft landing means that lander you know the legs are there which can tolerate up to more than 3 meters per second that sort of impact it can tolerate and what we presume is that velocity will be around 1.86 uh, meters that sort of uh, per second velocity only will be there so and even if there is a slope so one of the leg is on the slope say 12 degree or so still it will be a stable one so the, the impact wise it can handle the impacts it can handle the rough thing uh, rough little bit of rough landing also